<sighs> right, finally done it. Fitted, um, oh, just turn it on. Fitted the winder. First of all, once you've got it in, these here rivets are uh, there, four mil rivets. Um, like I said, get one of them suckers and you can put it on the window to hold it in situ while you fix it in. Get the window down, obviously. Well, that about. Oh, yeah. Hang on, let's scan it a bit. Get it to about that level, so the arm's here, and then lower the window down. You might have to raise this up and down a bit. Um, as long as you get one in first, it's all right. Make sure you've got something in there, so if the glass does fall, it ain't gonna break. Um, take the speaker out, disconnect it. Now, getting it in was a ball ache. Because what you've got to do, it's got to go, I know this arm is in front, but to get it in, you've got to put it in behind. That was the only way I could get it in anyway. Here's the old one, so you've got to get it in like that. Um, but, you've got to, but the arm and everything just gets in the way. Wrap a bit of tape around this, so this is up to here. So this is up as far as it'll go, bit of tape around it, keeps it out of the way. Feed it in under and you've got to plug it in and you've just got to keep going up and down to, man to manipulate it, to get it to go round the back and you think it's not going to go because of this window oh, guide thing, what do you call it? You'll know what it is when you see it. Because of that, don't try and pull it or push it, twist it. If you twist it, you'll go, but it's, you, it's a ball ache, but it will go eventually. Like I say, just keep manipulating the buttons up and down, up and down to alter the angle of the arm and you'll eventually get it in. Um, <clears throat> then you need two pot rivets here. Uh, they're 4.8. I don't know how long they are, but they're 4.8. And actually that's a 4.8 and that's probably a 4. But anyway, it's old. It's in there. Um, and I think when you twist that, like I say, it's the only you twist that backwards and forwards. It goes down fine. But it's a bit slower going up. But just now I, I, I give that a tug round as it was going up and it sped up a bit. So you probably have to fettle with that. This one, this side, drop your window down a bit. So you've got to take this one out as well. Um, and then offer it up to the glass and slide it up because the top metal bit um, sort of sits in behind this. Otherwise, you'll find that the your nut behind there is down here. But once you've got that, then slide it in. You'll you'll see these two as well. Just I've only got them in hand. Tight, but it's getting dark. That's why I'm rambling. Get this done and dusted, but it's in. Um, yeah, got no problem with the actual motor, it's all good. There's the old one on the ground. Actually, before you buy a new one, I think all that was wrong with this was there was a washer that sits on the back of this that came off. So, before you buy another one, just check that because all you'd have to do is just drill a hole through there and you can. Put a washer back on and put a split pin through or something and it'll save you 24 quid but well there's a new one in there now but 24 quid 27 pounds something but you definitely need one of those suckers that'll age you out you don't have to be high vis trousers but something to jam in there just in case it falls down take your speaker out and um yeah, like I say, it goes. I had to get it behind there. I just couldn't get it round this side. 
That's always being stupid, but there you go. Hope that helps somebody out, presumably. <laughs>